What's up, everybody? This is the Disciple Rick coming to you with a very brief podcast. It's not going to be long. I mean, when I say that, y'all know I can talk for a while. So I'm going to try to make this a brief podcast. And in fact, only thing I'm doing today, uh, I'm just I'm making a, a quick announcement. I put up a poll uh, and my brother up in Life is Simple podcast also put up a poll about starting a private subreddit Reddit, uh, for ex Jehovah's Witnesses. And uh, we got some good feedback from folks in reference to uh, that poll as to whether we should start one. And uh, I want to, wanted to announce that we've started it. We have our private subreddit up. It is called From J Dub to Jesus Christ. And it is private. I have the uh, link to it uh, in the description and the name of it. I also have my Reddit name. Is that what it's called? Reddit name. You know, I got the little U so you can contact me. But it's a private subreddit, so you have to be permitted to be in. So uh, you can contact me by email or on Reddit. Now I've got my Reddit ID there, name, whatever. Uh, and you can click join, and I think what it does, it sends a, a, a request to the mods to allow you to be in. So I want to let you know that that subreddit is now up. And we are looking forward to those who are interested in joining the subreddit. I think it's going to be good for us to have uh, discussions because, you know, we have discussions uh, with people on on YouTube on the particular podcast and where people put their comments and uh, sometimes they have questions. I'll get uh, emails from folks with questions and those are all good. Uh, but a lot of the things that uh, we're discussing, even on these emails, are so brief, right? That there's no discussion and then it's just, you know, one on one communication. Even if you're on the YouTube, just one on one, some people can join in. But, hey, you know, there's more that we can say. Uh, there's more that we can share. And we like to. Uh, share that with others so I wanted to just make that announcement that the podcast is up one thing about it though as with anything especially if you're trying to do something in behalf of uh, Jesus Christ and growing in that vein we're going to be attacked by the wicked parts of the spirit realm so I wanted to talk about what unites us and on this podcast, the thing that will unite us. That's why the title is, What is the Gospel? Okay, so what is the Gospel? Here it is. Very simple. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 5. Here's what Paul says. Now I make known to you, brothers and sisters, the Gospel. Okay, and you know, we ex-J Dove, so we know it says good news in the New World Translation. The gospel which I preach to you, which you also received, in which you also stand, by which you also are saved, if you firmly hold to the word which I preach to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed down to you, as of first importance, what I received, that Jesus, or it's not Jesus, it said that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried and he was raised on the third day according to according to the scriptures and that he appeared to Cephas and to the twelve. That is the gospel. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures and he appeared to witnesses who could testify to the fact that he was resurrected. That's the gospel. That simple message unites us as Christians that simple message is what we should not get away from that's why he said what he said is I preached this to you and I hope I didn't preach it to you in vain but I preached this message to you and this message is what saves you that's it Christ died According to the scriptures, look, 
Psalm 22, Isaiah 53, Daniel was 9, 26, and, and, and then Zechariah 12, 10. These all talk about Christ dying, according to the scriptures. He was buried and rose again on the third day. See, Isaiah 53 talks about that. Psalm 16, 1 through 11, talks about Christ being raised up. But it, it really is just that simple. Now, I'm saying the gospel is simple, but there is a huge, huge backstory leading up to that event. Okay? Then that backstory relates to us as Christians. These are things that we can talk about. Then there's a huge front story after he was resurrected that we can talk about. Especially how that relates to us as being Christian. I mean, look, if you simply, just to show you how, how in-depth it is, just those few verses in Psalm 22 and Isaiah 53, you got so much that we could talk about and get an understanding as to how it relates to us. Uh, uh, it's funny, because if you look in Psalm, uh, what is it, Psalm 22 and verse 12, I mean, some of that language you may think is symbolic, but it's actually not. In verse 12, it talks about the bulls of Bashan surrounding him. And this is why he is on the cross. The bulls of Bashan surrounding him. Well, who are the bulls of Bashan? I mean, it's really interesting when you find out about that. See, Isaiah 53, 12. Did you know that when it talks, it uses the word death in English, but it, in Hebrew, it was actually plural, deaths. Well, how many deaths did Jesus die? I mean, really interesting once you get into the, those things. So all that information is there. It's I mean, and then you you know you go all the way back to starting with the fall of Adam and how things uh, came forward from there. We got a lot of information, but the point is, is that we want to use that information to help each other grow as Christians. All right, we want to help each other grow in faith, and that's why these types of things are important to discuss because we want to know what our purpose is. So we're doing the podcast. It, it, we're not there to argue and fight amongst each other. And that's the main thing. What unifies us is, go, is that simple message of the gospel. But we have to grow in faith. And, and that's what you, we're pushing for. What are we putting and why? We're putting things to help us to grow in faith. It's interesting. Why, why do I say faith? And I, and I don't want to be vague on it. I want to be very specific in terms of faith. And we're talking about our Christian faith. Look, uh, Romans chapter 8. In verse 9 it says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Okay, so we're talking about faith here. For the heart, for with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. Now check this out. That was 9 and 10. But I want you to notice something here in verse 17. It says, so faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of God, the word of Christ. Excuse me. And did you notice that, though, that faith is always present tense? Verse 10, faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. So what we're saying is very simple. We're going to help each other to grow in our Christian faith. In other words, you may have read something in the scripture, but you read it that was past. We're going to discuss something. Someone put something in uh uh, a discussion forum for, for us to look at. And there's something that we can now, once we read it and go back and read that scripture again, we heard the word about Christ right then. Faith comes from hearing. And then we act on what we heard. Once we believe. So it's present tense. That's what we're trying to do. Just to help each other build our Christian faith. And faith is always present tense. It is not future tense. Hope is future tense. There's a difference. I hope so. That's in the future. I believe it. That's right now. So we're just trying to help each other build one another in faith. All right. Now, listen, I'm going to say too, uh, if, if you look uh, in the description of the um, community, our subreddit community, that, of course, we're, we're welcoming ex-J-Dubs who want to be Christians. But we're also welcoming J-Dubs who want to be Christians. So, but remember, you want to be a Christian, and that's a, the difference. You're not trying to 
hold to Jehovah's Witness teaching. So you don't need to come in trying to bring Jehovah's Witness teaching. I, I want to say something too about the J-Dub gospel. So if you're J-Dub and you're, you're, you know, especially great crowd and you want to defend the J-Dub teachings, you, you don't even need to come. If you're great crowd, if you're part of great crowd, yeah, you, you don't need to come if you're going to hold to that. Okay. Because we already know that 95% of the teachings are false. All right. The gospel that J-Dub preaches and the gospel of the scriptures are not the same. You may want to think that it is, but it's not. All right. I, I want to express that. And how do you how can you tell very, very subtly? The organization has changed the gospel to where you don't believe the biblical gospel. And I talked about that last week about Michael being the archangel well, and Jesus Christ is Michael, the archangel for our last podcast, whatever. So I talked about that. That's how subtle it is. Because if you believe that Michael is Jesus Christ, then that's not the gospel. Because Michael the archangel did not come to the earth and give his life. I mean, just really substitute Michael for Jesus and you see how ridiculous it is. And the organization has been believing this and teaching this since at least the 1930s. It probably goes back further than that. But at least the 1930s. That makes... That gospel that they preach, false. And here's what it says, the Bible says about false gospels. Galatians chapter 1, verse 8 and 9 says, But even if we, or an angel from heaven, should preach to you a gospel contrary to what we have preached to you, he is to be accursed. As we have said before, even now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one that you receive, he is to be accursed. So look here. Remember, I was telling you all that, that J.F. Rutherford was receiving, channeling from an angel <laughs> out in space. Look, that stuff is accursed. I'm going to say, look, you, 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 you're a J-Dub and you want to come join us. I mean, at least be partaken, you know, so that you understand you're a, Christ, a Christian. Okay, yeah, that's what got Dunlap and, uh, and and France kicked out the organization. And once they studied it, they, oh, I went, no, man, we Christians. <laughs> so what Dunlap Dunlap wasn't proclaiming that he was already anointed, but uh, France was. And Dunlap started partaking. Was like, yeah, you can get out. You know. So anyway, I just want to bring that forward. All right. So anyway, look, as I mentioned before. We're going to stick with 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 5 as a thing that unites us. Because it, it is. It's the gospel about Christ. That's what's going to unite us. And I want you to remember that. Anyone who signs up, please remember that. And if we're starting to talk about Jesus Christ just from the, the perspective of the gospel and try to unite on that, wicked spirits are going to try to break us up. All right? They do not want any of us learning the depth of of the the understanding of what God has actually given to us Christians while we're here on the earth. They don't want you knowing that. So they're going to try to break us up. And I, I want you to remember that in case you get into your feelings about something. Someone don't believe the same way you believe and on things that we don't argue over things that are not the gospel. If it's a salvation issue. You come preaching a contrary gospel, yeah, yeah, we can argue over that. But anything else, your personal belief, we, it's not to argue, we discuss. So don't get in your feelings. You know, one of the mods may send you, as a quick reminder, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 5, to kind of pull you back you know, to the fold. All right? You're going to be spinning out on your feelings because that's, that's what the wicked spirits want us to do. See, we're here to share. And then you remember, you know, you get too crazy. Yeah, you remember we practice disfellowship in there. <laughs> That's the culture we come from. Yeah, I had to disfellowship you from the uh the Jada up to Jesus Christ podcast. I mean, uh so you've been disfellowship. Yeah, it's funny. Hey, you know, I got this fellowship from the ex Jada up. <laughs> so ready. <laughs> they kicked me out for real. Say hey, you are permanently banned. <laughs> yeah, but them folks over there are crazy, man. A lot of atheists over there. So. But you find some good folks 
it, you know, but but the good folks are, are really outnumbered by the rest of them. So anyway, look, I just wanted to share that. You know, see, look, I mean, I'm already at 15 minutes. I didn't even intend to, to go that long. But hey, the subreddit is up. It's the it's in the description box there. And so please uh, join up. Let's get the discussion board going. All right. That's all I had. This is the Disciple Rick. I'm signing off. I'll talk to y'all later.